See, I put in ten toes, now I don't know If that chick bad, I go carry her My neck is cold, I don't condone No bad energies around here I got a whole lot of vibes and a whole lot and Bad girls and a whole lot and Give me your wine and a whole lot and I, 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 I say we come with the vibes and a whole lot and Bad girls and a whole lot and She give me wine and a whole My hair is a mess, but we are going to pretend like it's like I just made it yesterday, okay? So basically, I ordered some new skincare from Tika 4, shop with Tika. She actually sells like wholesale skincare as well as retail, obviously, for people like me who only buy it one by one. And so their prices are more affordable. Also, I wanted to buy a lot of like Good Molecules products. And I know that Tika is like the official distributor for Good Molecules here in Nigeria. So by default, her prices are, you know, cheaper. I'll give you an example. So I bought the Good Molecules Niacinamide Brightening Toner. Everywhere else I have checked for this toner, it's either 12k, the least I've seen it is 11k, 12k, 12, 12.5, 11,000. I got this for 8,300 on Tika's website. I think it's tika4.com. The toner that I use is the type of toner that you put on your hand and press into your skin. And as much as I love how it feels on my skin, sometimes I want like a toner that I can also use to like wipe like whatever dirt is remaining on my face after cleansing. I don't know if that makes sense. So I bought this toner. What else did I get? I also got the Ordinary Hyaluronic, Hyaluronic, blah, 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 Hyalu every time I have a problem with pronounce the pronunciation of this word, Hyaluronic Acid. Yes, by Ordinary. I got the Hyaluronic Acid because I also just want healthy, plump skin. And I know the Hyaluronic Acid from my research helps with like moisture and just helping you retain moisture in your skin. So yes, this is what that looks like. This is the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid. I got the, yay, I'm excited about this one. I got the Good Molecules Cleansing Balm. So guys, let me confess, I use makeup wipes. Oh, I know, I know, it's 2022. Everybody basically has kicked it against makeup wipes, basically because it strips your skin, um, it doesn't clean your skin very well, it doesn't help your skin retain moisture, all of that. It's not gentle on your skin, basically. Um, and everybody recommends cleansing balm so it's supposed to be used like on your face when you're about to take off your makeup just put it on your face and it basically breaks down all the makeup and it's easy to just wipe off oh. it's pretty odorless last thing i got is the ordinary retinol in squalane this one has a dark bottle on like the hyaluronic acid the good molecules niacinamide brightening toner cost 8300 the retinol cost 7500 the hyaluronic acid cost 6900 and the good molecules instant cleansing balm cost 8000 200 yeah and shipping costs 8200 so yeah guys tika yeah the only downside to Tika is that she doesn't have like a wide range of like products. Just your OG skincare brands that we all know she has them. But if you're looking for like something that's not very popular, you probably won't find it there. That's about it. I'm just going to go back to what I was doing. I have been editing Ruga's video that I need to that needs to go up today because the video just drops today and i need to post it today okay so let me get back to doing that talk to you guys later <sighs> guys where do i even begin my couch came last night and i have just been thrown into like a state of confusion 
I mean physically it looks nice the color is nice it feels nice but this couch is I feel like I'm sitting on the table and guys fun fact there was absolutely nothing wrong with our old couch the one thing we didn't like about it was that it was too strong it wasn't comfortable enough we wanted a couch that we could sink into a couch that when you see it just calls your name but this couch just says get up get up get up you're not comfortable because it is so hard like i am five foot nine inches tall and i am thick i'm not skinny so when i sit on this couch it should at least move it should sink this couch doesn't flinch it doesn't do anything i kept on saying i want a soft comfortable couch at this point i don't even really care about the aesthetics being nice and pretty is the icing on the cake for me i just have regrets right now because like i could have easily just bought a couch from taylor i'd be taylor <sighs> it's been bugging me all morning i'm not even gonna lie and the way she talks the way she talks on the phone just pisses me off just pisses me off like you know all these over sabi housewives that just talk too much like calm down if i've asked you for a soft foam and you deliver a rock solid foam you've done rubbish it doesn't matter if the rock solid foam will last 10 years as long as it is not what i want then you've done rubbish and that's what i've tried to communicate and all she's done is defend 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 is good it's nice is this is that and i'm just like woman to woman it's just like at some point i'm gonna give i'm gonna just throw away woman to woman and cuss you out if you keep doing this rubbish so i told her i wasn't gonna pay the balance you know what i'm, I'm just gonna sell this couch on clutter get my money back and order a new couch from taylor that's what i wanted to do because it's not just the foam even the backrest the backrest itself is so boxy you know how when you use soft foams and then you can make like a demarcation in the middle this one is just hi hi so you know i was just like you know what send your boys send your workers let them come and do whatever magic they believe they can do to this couch to make it softer and then we'll see Anger raise or go slash the wheel or two To hold the person back you go stay back to make sure Okay Hey guys Today is Thursday And I am dressed to go out with Osh Yeah some of you might know her as Yolene <laughs> From Dilemma Fun fact Osh and I play Arch Arch Arc okay arc enemies in dilemma but we're actually good friends in real life and we live very close to each other and she came up with the brilliant idea that we should hang out today up top i look like yeah i look dressed and like ready right let me show you what i'm wearing underneath okay so this is the bottom i know that if she gets there before me she's going to make a fuss about it like oh i'm always late all that jazz but I'm going to be on my way now and um, I'll see you guys when I get there. To hold a person down, you could stay down to make sure the water won't come in a prisoner too. Don't gather around for Market Square. Reproach 
je comme où tu mama comme un sister bounty Everybody don't sit around the market square I did good care yeah. Now my mother the for air Guys we changed location Me and my girl <laughs> We came to somewhere called Bolivar and it's so cute as well It's outdoor just like the last place we went to camera once a month do you promise press my heart how do you do that <laughs> guys she said every month it'll be once a month yes. yeah so once a month mm -hmm. should we just do here again or somewhere else somewhere else so we go to different bars it's almost like a bar crawl bar like crawl. so we just okay. discover new places okay okay yeah sounds fun let's do it okay <laughs> Let's do it. Maybe we should even go. Hey guys, so gym updates for you all. Ila recently quit the gym and left me to be going to the gym by myself. <laughs> it's not entirely a bad thing to be honest. He could no longer keep up because of work and this way I started focusing on what I really wanted to do at the gym. I even stopped training with a personal trainer. I wanted to fall in love with going to the gym to do what I wanted to do and not what the PT wanted me to do. Also, I felt like I was comfortable enough in the gym now to just navigate the gym by myself without help or direction from my personal trainer. And in exploring what my body really wants to do, I came to find out that I really, really enjoy stretching. I stretch for at least 15 minutes before whatever workout i want to do for the day which makes me think i might actually really enjoy pilates and maybe i should just look into it That's all for the stretching I did today and this is me just basically packing up my stuff to go do some cardio. I even took off my shoes at some point. That's how much I was getting into it. While on the treadmill, I thoroughly enjoy watching YouTube videos, catching up on my faves. Tommy Warodia, I absolutely love her. I also love Amara your friend Amara the lesbian I really like her so much she's so authentic I love how she just basically shares her most mundane moments So 
something else I have absolutely fallen in love with recently is skipping. I do this for 30 minutes, sometimes more, right after I get off the treadmill. It's also a great form of cardio and since I'm focusing on more exercises that just make me feel good and productive for the day, I feel like skipping is just a no-brainer for me. And yeah, right after that, I grabbed some so fresh on my way home and that was my day at the gym. I am getting dressed to go for a movie premiere to that's happening today at Filmhouse IMAX. I have done my makeup. I feel like I only have one makeup that one go-to makeup that if you wake me up from my sleep and say MC prepare to go meet the president do your makeup this is what I'm going to do on my face <laughs> anyway what do you guys think I really like these earrings I feel like they elevate the outfit and they're very like look at me I have flowers on my ear now to wear a necklace or to just leave my chest bare and wear like a bracelet I do have this silver ring though that I really like so if I do like silver accessories so let's try hmm these accessories are from Tiffany official by the way um, I just feel like it's doing too much like it's nice but I just feel like but then it's a movie premiere. I'm supposed to be doing too much, yeah? I wish this was like a live video where like you guys can like text me your response, but we, I don't know, I'm just, this is without. I feel like without is a bit plain, isn't it? Okay, let me try something else. Okay, let's try this one. This is another one. This one's gold. And I think I like this one. I feel like I like the contrast and the white thing. Obviously, I'm going to change this ring, but I feel like I like this one better. Let me wear it. Let me try it on. Um, guys. Yeah, I think this is it. I like the contrast that this is giving. I still really like it. Okay. I think we're ready. Now for what bag to carry. Hmm. Okay, guys. I was watching Big Brother on my phone while getting ready. Um. So yes, I found these Charles and Keith ones. They have these like white detail that I really like, and I feel like it kind of goes with like my necklace and everything. So I think I'm just gonna do this bag. I have my perfume that goes in this little container some lip gloss a hand cream lip balm for Ilo Ilo is the host of this event and he just texted me now to bring him some lip balm this is a non-ashy non zone have to hook my baby up of course let me put on my shoes and be on my way singing from or where they're coming from but they may be coming from somewhere that's so deep that it connects to something you can relate to I don't know if you follow what I'm saying um, I think it was last year I, I can't believe I'm about to say this but I think it was last year um, I was I suffered depression for like three months right I've been grinding working what been in the industry what six seven years around that time and it just seemed like things weren't clicking and I know that there are people that are going through something like that. Maybe you're an architect, a builder, an engineer, whatever, you're an entertainer, and it just seems like it's not clicking. So when you hear a song like Almost There, you can relate on a different level. Do you understand? Like you can relate on a completely different... One of the main characters of, of this movie, of Baram, Demi, I'm sure a lot of us know Demi the actor, right? Are, are you aware that he quit acting in 2019? Where did he quit you, 
will call me and he looks at the schedule and he's like, Kyle, you're not shooting one scene for one day. such an amazing night um it was such an amazing movie to be honest they didn't disappoint i'm going to give it to them they didn't disappoint the storyline was great the acting was great i can 100 percent say that i had a few laughs like i genuinely enjoyed this movie i've changed out of my dress into a robe because i just want to unwind and call it a day i'm just gonna chill at home today is saturday which means it's the Saturday night party at Big Brother Niger house. And I'm watching that. <laughs> if you're watching Big Brother this year, let me know in the comment section below. Who are you rooting for? Who is your favorite? People that I'm rooting for so far, I really like Hermes, Brian as well. Like from the first day, Brian stepped into that house and said, oh, he's from Imo State. I was like, yes, slay. I like Daniela. Like Daniela has been growing on me recently ever since Khalid left the house. I think Daniela did one presentation about her twin brother that suffers from albinism. She's a twin and her twin brother is called Daniela and she's a Daniela. I was like, I actually have my cousins are twins and they're also Daniela and Daniela. Hermes as well. He's such a game player. He's like when it comes to tasks or anything that has to do with the money, which is why you went into the house in the first place. He's like, he's there. He puts on his A game and he's just ready to give it his 100 percent hello hey babe how far I live, man. I'm, so tired. I'm so sorry, sorry. but i can't leave because of my leg is not easy so you know you have to wait for him to come before you I come home you love hermes love brian love daniela um i liked fina until the whole groovy thing just started like and then Amaka saying she liked him. The whole thing. Just. Pfft. Anyway. This is not a Big Brother review channel. Um, I just thought to share that with you guys. Yeah, I'm just going to go watch some Big Brother. <laughs> yeah, them crazy. Na, 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 yeah. Yeah man, you don't know Five Star out right now, new album. Shout out my brother Omale on this track with me. Shout out to my people in Ghana, shout out to Niger, shout out to Africa. You don't know, Kim Promise, signing out.